welcome you all to the 32nd lecture of ruler marketing and today's topic of discussion is the institutional or formal ruler financing under which we will discuss about the commercial banks regional uh, ruler banks the role of government and we will uh, discuss little bit intro about nabar okay so in last lecture we was learning about the institutional or formal ruler financing and we have seen the various sources of ruler financing and we discussed already the cooperative credit societies and land development banks in the last lecture previous lecture so uh, today uh, we will discuss about the commercial banks so first of all we should understand that how these commercial banks are different than you are a cooperative credit societies and land development bank so we should understand that the credit um, from cooperative uh, credit societies only members will get the credits okay non members will not get credit from those cooperative credit societies and land development banks also you can get a loan for um, 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 agriculture development or basically land development like digging a well okay fencing of your fields purchasing of new field so basically that loan is for agriculture land development purchase but here commercial banks we all know that these are the banks they accept deposits also and they offer um, checking account services makes various loans and they offer by, uh, basic financial products like a certificate of deposits and saving accounts also and it is not only for agri sector it is for individual as well as small businesses so these banks are uh, very much popular among the people and they do all the commercial activities uh, which banks normally do so uh, now these commercial banks have also started a new initiative uh, like state bank of india have started this initiative first village adoption schemes okay uh, so uh, what is the purpose behind this to examine into credit and additional requirement of the farmers so they will adopt a particular village and they will provide credit to the needy peoples and what are the additional requirement of farmers are there they will fulfill that requirement also so earlier uh, commercial banks were known only to get uh, deposit from urban population and issue loans only for the trade and the industry but nowadays you may see that they are these banks are providing both direct and indirect investment to the agriculture sector also okay like uh, for direct financing they issue for small and medium term uh, loans allowing farmers to conduct agriculture operations easily and indirect indirect financing is giving advance uh, from to purchase things like grains and fertilizers so directly and indirectly both ways they are uh, giving credit to uh, rural people also commercial banks third one is your uh, regional rural banks okay so regional rural banks are also there uh, which helps uh, Uh, ruler people to develop the economy so this ruler uh, regional ruler bank was established on the recommendations of narsimha committee on ruler uh, uh, credit the purpose of these ruler credit banks are uh, to uh, help ruler areas for the development of the ruler economy to support agriculture trade commercial industry and other productive activities in the ruler area Uh, and they provide credit and other facilities particularly to the small and marginal farmers okay farmers or agricultural laborers are there small enterprises are there for all those uh, people who are staying in rural areas and doing their own work these banks help them uh, to provide credit examples i have given Andhra Pradesh Gramin Banks are there. Andhra Pradesh Gramin Vikas Bank, Chaitanya Godavari Gramin Bank, Saptagiri Gramin Bank. So all these are the banks, ruler uh, banks. You can search uh, for those banks also in web, and you will get more information about those banks, banks and their working. 
next uh, source of institutional finance we have see is uh, we have uh, told that it is government so government normally um, uh, for regular basis they don't provide credit but yes for certain um, emergencies like food crisis and flood situation okay government in those situation government provide short term and long term um, um, go uh, uh, credit to the farmers and these um, credits or these loans have a specific name which is known as takawa takowo loans okay and the rate of interest is very low for those kind of loans it is approximately somewhere 6% and in 1991 the state government um, have given nearly 350 crore of short term loans for the agriculture purpose but these uh, loans uh, were not very much popular because uh, of uh, the red tapism you know and the corruptions you know because of that those kind of loans were not very much popular among the farmers so these all are the different source of uh, institutional or formal rural financing we have seen uh, informal rural financing also where we have learned that uh, we can get loans from our friends relatives jamidars or local um, shopkeepers or intermediaries and what is the drawback of those kind of loans the interest rate is very high and uh, more of exploitation of farmers are there and institutional also we have seen how cooperative credit societies land development banks commercial banks regulatory uh, uh, sorry regional rural banks and the government provides uh, credit to rural, uh, rural people i hope it is clear now next we move to a very very important topic not only in ruler marketing but this topic you might uh, have in your entrepreneurship development subject also that is national bank for ruler uh, national bank for agriculture and ruler development in short we say nabat in 1982 you might have seen the office of nabat in college road also so in one of uh, your project i think is related to nabad also so those who are doing it they will uh, get to know about this um, bank in more detail during their project so let's start first uh, what is nabad that is full form is national bank for agriculture and rural development name itself is saying its purpose so it is an apex regulatory body for overall regulation and licensing of ruler, regional rural banks and also it is an apex cooperative bank in India. It is under the judiciary of Ministry of Finance, Government of India and its headquarters is in Mumbai. The main uh, concern of this bank is to make policies, planning and operation in the field of credit for agriculture and other economic activities in the rural area so purpose basically to serve agriculture development rural development credit planning for rural areas refinancing it is a regulatory body of rbi and it is a regulatory body of apex cooperative banks also and uh, current chairman of Nabad is Govinda Rajula Chintala. Okay, his name is Govinda Rajula Chintala. He is the uh, current chairman of Nabad. You can check Nabad's website also. There are a lot of online internship opportunities for students in Nabad website. So you can get information and internship opportunity from Nabad's website also. So, NABAD uh, was established on the recommendation of B. Sivaraman Committee and on 12th July 1982, um, it, that, uh, NABAD actually uh, bank was established and uh, it replaced the Agriculture Credit Department and Ruler Planning uh, and Credit Cell of Reserve Bank of India. And uh, the corpus, initial corpus for NABAD was uh, 100 crore rupees that time. 
and international associations of nabard if we will talk about it includes world bank affiliated organization and global development agencies working in the field of agriculture and rural development so these uh, this is just a little bit introduction of nabard in further next lecture we will learn about the uh, features of national bank of agriculture and rural development and its functions we will see and how rural innovation happened with the help of uh, nabard also that also we will learn in next lecture so just to a quick revision what all things we have learned today so first we have seen that what are the commercial banks then we have seen regional rural banks after this the role of government in providing the credit for the farmers we have seen then nabard what is nabard introduction uh, we have seen i hope today's lecture is clear for you if you have any queries you can ping me on whatsapp i will solve your query there thank you so much for watching today's video